Short scripture, we go. Huh? I said, Lord, I'm ready. Me too. Good, Lord. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Mm. Okay. All right. We're going to make some joyful noise up in here. Y'all, 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 y'all ready to make some joyful noise up in here. Y'all ready to get it together right yeah. now. Yeah. Lord, and I'm ready to give a sign for the God. Yes, Lord. <laughs> All right, man. Okay. Serve the Lord with glad. Come before his presence with sin. No, oh, we done did that now, y'all. Yeah. We done we done we done come before him with singing that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. With praises. Yeah. Now some like Brother Wright said one time we now y'all got y'all eyes open. Now y'all know if Brother Wright won't sit back there and nod his eyes open. Y'all gotta get it together. <laughs> Know ye that the Lord, he is God. Mm -hmm. It is he that have made us and not we ourselves. Mm -hmm. We are his people and the sheep of his pasture. Enter into his gates with thanksgiving, with thanksgiving. and into his courts with praise. Yeah. Be thankful unto him and bless his name. For the Lord is good. His mercy is everlasting and his truth endureth to all generations. All generations. All generations. Generation. He didn't leave nobody out. All generations. Yeah. He told us to enter in. Uh -huh. Enter in with a prayer. Yeah. Don't just come in and sit down. But when we enter in to the gates, we're supposed to have a praise. We're supposed to have a hallelujah. Yeah. We're supposed to have a thank you, Jesus, and her. Yeah. Why? We is the noisy crowd, y'all. Yeah. We the holy. Yeah. We don't want to be blessed and quiet. Yeah. Oh, you lame. Yeah. 
Yeah, that's right. And especially when she goes over the front door. That's right, that's right. I'm there. You don't never know what gonna happen. That's right. It was a car come back one day and it kept going out in the in the in the coat, turning around, a uh, bishop say. And he said that the woman had got up and stored out the driveway. Ellie was dead by the truck playing. And he say, he took and stood up. Say the woman said, Oh, I didn't see you. I thought she was out here by herself and turned around and went back to her car. See that? Could have took. That's right. Could have took. But we ought to tell God, thank you. Yeah. We ought to be so grateful to God. Because God has blessed us. Oh, yes, yes. Some of us raised our children up without any problem. Mm -hmm. They ain't been in no trouble. If your child ain't in jail this morning, tell God thank you. Thank you. Tell him thank you. Thank you. Mm -hmm. He ain't about that at the hospital. Tell God thank you. Thank you. you know where he is and he hooked up on drugs. Tell God thank you. Thank you. We got something to tell God. Like I'd be all along. But I tell God thank you. Thank you. I said, Lord, thank you. Thank you Lord, thank you. Thank you. God, thank you. Thank you. Hallelujah. about 
about. He be whatever you want him to be in your life. Whatever you want God to be in your life, that's what God will be in your life. But God wants us to do something for him. God wants us to give him some praise. That's all he asked for. That's all God asked for. Just praise me. Just praise me. He said, if you praise him, I'll deliver you. I'll deliver you out of all your trouble. Now, you think about it. When you go and do Oh, all you got to do is just call on God. Yes. And God will deliver you. Amen. You ever feel down and out and just seem like all of a sudden a peace just came over you? Oh, yeah. Just overshadow, overtook. Yes. And you say, thank you, Lord God. Oh, Lord, I feel so good now. Oh, I felt so bad while ago, but I feel so good now. Oh, thank you, Lord God. Oh, thank you, Lord. Oh, thank you, Lord. Oh, thank you, Lord. Oh, yeah. God is good, God. God is good. You know, we talked in Sunday school this morning about Mary. But you know, I, 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 I think about when Mary and Elizabeth met and the, the Holy Ghost connected and it leaked, the baby leaked in their womb. And one time, Elder Cole preached, Do you feel him leaping? She said, I feel him leaping right now in my womb. She said, Can you feel it? I feel him leaping. So when the Spirit of the Lord comes, do you feel him leaving? Right. Sometimes you feel like you get something in you and feel like it's... She said, I'm trying to birth this baby. Ain't that what, ain't that what Ella Cole said? She said, I'm trying to birth this baby. She said, I feel him leaving in my womb. Amen. And that's the way we ought to be when we come in the house of the Lord. And we feel the presence of the Lord. We ought to feel him leaving in our womb. She preached one day. She said, I feel him leaping in my womb. She said, I'm trying to birth this baby. Yes, you did. My mother called with people. My mother to preach. You hear me? My mother called with a preacher. My mother called with a preacher, y'all. If they say a preacher, preacher, my mother called with a preacher, preacher. Yes, she was. But I, I think about that sometimes. I say, well, you know, talking in Sunday school, I say, now, little uh, when they met, I say the Holy Ghost could dead. And you know we want to be like that now. And when Brother Grant said this morning about the baby, we got the baby now. Y'all had got lost. <laughs> Y'all had got lost. <laughs> but we got part of the baby in us. That was just the, the, the Holy Ghost in them. So if the Holy Ghost in us, we ought to feel him leaping. We ought to feel him leaping. We got, we got part of the baby now. He came that we might have life and have it more abundant. And we can if we want to have life. And we want to sit down and feel sorry for ourselves and bad for ourselves. We can. I tell the devil, I'm not going to do that. I'm not going, I'm not going out that way. I'm, not, I'm just not going to go out that way. I just don't believe nobody, I don't believe nobody would want me to act like that. I just, I just don't believe it. God Thank you for joining us here at Clinton Chapel of Praises Virtual Church. We pray that a song that was sang, perhaps the sermon that was preached, or the lesson that was taught was a blessing to you and yours. You may not know Jesus Christ as your personal Lord and Savior, and we would like to take this time to extend him to you. The Bible declares that if you believe with your heart, and confess with your mouth that God raised Christ from the dead, that you shall be saved. That's right, it's just that easy, believing and confessing. I would like to tell you that this way may not be easy. Therefore, we recommend that you find yourself a good Bible-believing, Bible-teaching church. There's strength among saints, and you cannot live this life by yourself. Now, I want you to do this for me. I want you to take a moment to pray to God. Some people say, I don't know how to pray. 
but it's just this simple. Just take time and have a small conversation with God. And tell God that you're tired of the way you're living, tired of the things you're doing. And believe me, I promise you that this day will be the best day and it will begin a walk that you will never regret. I'm going to pray for you now. Father, we thank you for that soul that has just chosen you to be their Lord and Savior. Father, we want you to do a new work within them, clean them, change them, and God, let them have the desire to further themselves with you. And God, we thank you and we love you and we know that all things and we get all things are done by you and through you and we give your name praise. And believe me, saints, now the angels in heaven are rejoicing because you came to Christ. And not only are the angels rejoicing, but I and we here at Clinton Chapel are rejoicing along with you. Now listen to me. You take the Lord along with you everywhere you go. Shalom. You may join us here at Clinton Chapel of Praise for any of our services. Every Sunday at 9.45 a.m. we have Sunday school. At 11 a.m. morning worship. At Tuesdays at 7.30 p.m. we have prayer and Bible study. And if you would like to donate, you may do so by cash app dollar sign CCOP Church. Thank you for worshiping with us.